So welcome to Motionless Design, a continuation of hotel design in Revit 2023. Now, it came to notice that uh, someone said this window cut cut is cutting wall. There is no explanation on how I did. I'm so very sorry. That was my that was my bad. I want to make the correction from now. So after then we are going to work on this elevation and put some railings around this place and do some work that will make the elevation look more professional. So now I want to delete this the window, I mean cutting wall. So I'm deleting it now. Good. So I'm going back to level one. So I want to create another wall entirely. So I want to click on wall. I can decide to say create similar. So if I do create similar, I'm still going to change the change the property from this place. So the same way as coming to this place and click on wall and say okay, wall by what architecture. So the same process we are going to follow. Then you scroll down. There are different type of wall that are available here. So I want to use cut a wall. So in cutting wall, if you want to use it on wall. The one thing that is very paramount with it is that check the property first and you edit it. So if you say automatic embedded, now let's let toggle this one up. See, we are not using it now. So exterior only. You want to cut it what to have the panel. So it depends on what the, the materials you are going to use and create that one. So when we say we want to do the particular the horizontal and continuous border. So the same way you use a Stop work, stop work, uh, what's it called? Like this stop front. So, the same with the external glazing. So, they have the same things like a duplication of it, then change the property. So, now what we do is that to click on this and draw the wall. You see what you do? So, this wall is being drawn and shown because of what? When you click on the property, you see that it's already automatically embedded. So when you toggle this embedded, you see that you are not going to see look at it again now. Click the property, edit, say OK. So here, when you click on another one, then change it, change this to something like two. 20,000 of heights. Okay. So when you go back to your elevations, you see what you have done. But it's only now reflecting, it's reflecting only at that below side, but the mini parts are not showing. The reason is simple. Click on this and say embed in it. Click OK. So in that embedded, everything will be embedded in any way you see a normal big work so that is how you do that and that is the way i created that now i don't want you to start from the bikini so i want to raise this up a little bit by the okay i'm starting from from one and from 1500 then i'm removing it from here and say 19 i mean 18,000. 18,500 Press OK Apply So the height remain but from the seal height from the floor uh, ground floor is already moving up so that is what we do here so if you mix omit that particular system kindly watch back and I apologize for that so I'm going back to level 1 so what I want to do here is that I want car to, when car move in, they will park around this place. So that is the first level of my aesthetic. So what will I do that? I will click on section and say create similar. I want to have section that is parallel to that. So I'm using this grid. So that will give me a complete view of that. So that is what section 2. So on section 2 now, I will go back there and click and say right click and say go to view to take me to that level so this is where i want to design what i want to do 
so you can extend this depends on what you want to do here now i click on architecture i want to model something okay so make model in place then i want to use a uh, casework click on casework i say okay now extrusion is what i want to use but here i don't have restaurant plane that i want to make use of so i want to use normal plane that i i can still snap to and pick so i'm picking plane here so by doing that you drag your cursor up around this around the wall when you find you see that okay he was able to recognize one rectangular or flat wall just click on it that will be your reference plate from now then you draw what you want to do whatever you want to draw from there so i'm drawing it here then i want to draw the ramp there's formula for the ramp if you want to know more about it you can just browse and check so so that it will not be too much shallow and the slope will not be too sharp so that is it you look at it i have some like here now you can decide to check it the angular dimension so you have six point i think it is okay the ramp always around five meter below but it is not necessary in this because this is just a training so if you want to use it for your project you can contact me so i will forward the whole file to you so now that is the that is the space for for that then you click on finish then you go back to your to the floor plan again and here what you have done is that you are not even seeing what you what is there so go to 3d whether it will be available yes it's here if you 3d now available so you extend this this arrow outside so that is what you have created in that line so if anyone can ramp into this place and do whatever they want to do so at this ramp now we are going to create another step that people can step in from here inside here so what we do here is that you click you go to your side elevation click here because we want it to be parallel to certain things so we want to use click finish click on this and drag this backwards so that you'll be able to capture the whole space so you click go here again and say go to view so at that joint this is where you want to draw your draw the steps so you now can extend this outside so now you click here and say edit in place because you want them to have the same family so edit in place now you say create similar so it's asking you to create the reference don't bother about the references or you can decide to create the reference does not matter so you say okay click play then you select anyone you drag it around anyone you see that okay was able to pick so you pick here you choose this so now begin to draw your your steps so let it have it that way from the lower side so i was having something like a 180 that is the size i want to use so 300 by foot 180 below press enter so now escape this one i can click on it and start copy copy from here to this place to this place to this place so there's no good too much good formula to level it all what you just need is that continue working and developing yourself every day so the more you practice the more you know what you are doing so you click finish in that line then you go back to your 3d so you have been in 3d then you extend this horizontal part extend it towards this and let it be aligned to so that is what you have created so when you go to your southern elevation now you see a little bit of change in that regard load, 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 load. so you see a little bit of change 
then you go to west now this is it so you are seeing a little bit of change so by the time you arrange, arrange everything here you get what you need to get done so let us quickly put some windows into this place so that not just look for it now what we we'll do here yeah, now in this place there is an issue with you can adjust it there's no perfect plan that is why it's a progressive development even to you submit this to your clients you continue working on each one every day every time so some little thing will be there you can whenever you draw this plan finish can go around check your work the check again before you submit to your clients so you can see until the submission of the project even during the construction there's the amendment to be taken so that is the function of construction so now as we've done this one i want to create windows around this place now i want to put windows in on the ground on ground floor go to architecture click on windows there are so many predefined windows for you to make use of but i just want to use all this long I want to create something of my own. I will have created a blue window, but I want to use this particular one and what and duplicate it. And sorry, duplicate. And I will call it hotel window. Hotel window. It's okay. The height, I want to change the height. I want the height to be a longer one like 120 height then the width to maintain that 600 so now from the re for the restaurant side i'm going to use the same thing so before i put it there check this when you click here check this ec height change it to a normal nine feet i mean just so let it be like that I say okay, click here again. I do the same thing here too. So as we have that, I found that one. They are seven feet, seven feet, uh, at height. So you click on that, adjust it. So the next one you want to click for play similar. You can adjust it by yourself by first of all, put that in place before you start pasting them where you want them to be. So that's how you do around this space. Create openings, create doors, create walls, create windows. So keep doing that till you are satisfied. So probably we are dealing professionally and teaching everything accordingly. So you can subscribe as well to our channel if you are new and if you are not if you're part of us you always share put your comment in place so you go to level two you do the same thing click on window then start putting window where window is supposed to be like this place you put window here that's open to veranda so that's the window you are having most of the doesn't have open uh, all sorts of ventilation towards them like that the artificial ventilation is what's most common so that's why when you are designing the you have to understand the criteria that governs it you don't put too much windows so, so that will not destroy the beautiful exterior so the, the major thing about because it's a commercial building what you have in mind is how to be a standard standard and how the aesthetic we we look like so that's what we work on when you are designing a test for all this one now has been arranged you work and put them in place so after you have done this thing you see that okay you have put some things in place to work with 
so here now you need to put door somewhere here click here and place door yes so that when you enter you'll be able to maneuver your way inside remember this is lift and so on and so forth so now you can now select all the windows here and so select all instant the way we used to do before then you click copy to clipboard then click on paste and say select to the following so from level three four five we have similar design there so you paste on them so when you look at it from elevation can you see windows are present you go to 3d you will see there that we have windows in most of the place that we're supposed to have windows so that is the beauty of uh, of uh, Revit so now let us quickly do railings and the railings aspect we want to do now is a common railing aspect so you click on railings here so you click on sketch the, the, the rules of a railing is that if you want to draw them or draw them or but if you are not drawing them or you don't draw um, and break and, and be breaking it, it will not flow. So when you want to submit it, the same way we complain to you. What I'm saying is just like I've drawn one, dot one here and I want to draw another one here. When I say click finish, it's going to give me the same story. The alarm of the, the reading of line views. The reading line must be a single connected sketch. So click on continue so what i'm saying is this if you click here and click here and say they join together finish them now you see that they all join so that is how you work the sketch mode of building the same way you work with the with every other aspect so when you are drawing flow when you are in sketch mode you must only join every line must be joined together so i click that finished good that is the railing for me then I come here again. This house I say place similar. So I can now decide to add everything together. Just click on straight down because it's entering into the wall. I know when you're going to see it when we are drawing our you can do the same thing like that. So click that and select here and say select readings. Select readings join here again press ctrl on your then select the region say copy then paste to selected view from level 2 paste on level 3 level 4 5 then leave it on 6 6 and 7 are different approach so when you go to 3d you see the railings are there so if you don't have this kind of railing on your system you can download it on the website by search for it and it will be given to you so that is how you work on what so you can sign in in Autodex if you have uh, data and so on and so forth work on that aspect for yourself so that is the window we have created and the ramps we have created in this place. So in the next lesson, we are working detailing on the, the whole process of land. Then maybe, probably, we are going to design this swimming pool at the back and cover the staircase at the back. Um, so try as much as possible to pay attention to what we are doing. Thanks for your observation. Somebody who remember that there is no lecture on cutting walls. I hope you are satisfied. Thanks for following us. Appreciate a lot. Subscribe.